they used to talk about Ireland having a two and a half party system. I don't want the Labour Party to be a half party. I want the Labour Party to be a full party and I want the contest for political leadership in Ireland to be a three-way contest and Labour being one of those three parties competing for the leadership of our country. Basically I'm down to ask you about helping me with my housing situation. I've had my little girl in Temple Street for the fifth time since right. Christmas. Right. There's mildew on their walls <coughs> basically in the, beside their bed. I can't put the bunk beds anywhere else. In the mornings when you get up you know you take them out of yeah. bed, the duvet is damp. Did you put in any doctor's letters or letters from the, the hospital? I've asked or... them down there, can I give them? They said it doesn't count. Oh it does. Oh, we always had the view at home that everybody should have the same opportunity. That's the basic view that has shaped me, shaped my thinking all, all my life. And that we leave to the next generation a better Ireland, a better Europe, a better world than uh, the way we, we found it. Let me follow that up, Adrian. Great, thanks very much. Look after Hi, how are you? How are you doing? How are you? Not bad at all. How are things with you? To my way of thinking, there's one Ireland, and the Labour Party belongs to that one Ireland. I grew up in rural Ireland. I represent an urban constituency. We're about half nine. If you get them to drop up to me, and I'll talk with them. I represent people who come from all walks of life, who run businesses, who work in businesses, people who work in hospitals, and people who are patients in hospitals. This is one Ireland. Unfortunately, in recent times, it has become a very unequal and a very unfair Ireland in many respects. And our job as a Labour Party is to make it one Ireland again. Well, I grew up on a farm and it was, it was mixed farming, so we did a bit of everything. My father passed away when I was just a baby, so I, I never really knew him. So my mother was the, the mainstay of the, the household. Um, she didn't have an easy life, but she was a very strong woman. Uh, she had a very strong belief in education, that education was the, the way that you got out of the circumstances you were in, that, you know, that it enabled you to, to progress. We went to a very, very good uh, primary school. We were taught everything through the medium of Irish. When I was a kid, I didn't know what to do. I was a kid who was a kid and a kid. And I thought it was a kid who was a kid. It was a kid who was a kid who was a kid. I was a kid who was a kid who was a kid who was a kid. I was a kid who 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 was a kid. And I was a kid who was a kid who was a kid who was a kid. And I was a kid who was a kid who was a kid in San Rano, Togala, Neil, Togali, a Togal Chihanish. And this is a kid who was a kid. It is something that I believe in very strongly. I think that. Education is the, the great liberator. You think of all of the things that we've been told over the past 10 or 15 years. They told us that the market would deal with health. They told us that the market would deal with housing. Markets have to be regulated. Banks have to be regulated. That fundamental thinking of the Labour Party, that economies are there to serve the people, not the other way around, that markets serve society, not the other way around. That fundamental thinking has never been more relevant and never more required. What is now beginning to happen is I think people are beginning now to become very, very worried about you know, where they're going to work again and how long the downturn is going to uh, take place for. But I mean, the idea that we would have a large pool of people who are just unemployed, nowhere to go, nothing to do, I mean, that's just... That's just staring disaster in the face. I suppose we're caught in the two industries that have been most embroiled in, in this whole thing. Kevin lost his job as part of the construction industry. I'm a banker, so that's not the safest place to be as well. Yeah. So and We're wondering what you'll do to help people in our situation. The quicker we get confidence back in the banks, mm -hmm. the quicker we get the government outlining what its plan is for the public finances, so that we know, as families, yeah. You know, exactly. how, how we can budget. You know? yeah. I mean, this whole emphasis on, you know, what can we cut? What programmes do we cut? The problem with that is that the more you cut, 
Yeah. The less people you're going to have in employment, the fewer people you have in employment, the less capacity there is for, for spending and for economic activity. Yeah. It's an opportunity to build now yeah. the things that the country is going to need exactly. for the next century yeah, exactly. in order to be able to articulate what people need and what people want. You have to first of all understand it and know what it is. And the only way you do that is by listening to people. People don't trust the management and they certainly don't trust them since, they, since we were amalgamated into the HSC. Teamwork is vital in, 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 in any walk of life but especially in a hospital. We all rely on each other quite heavily and we don't get the acknowledgement from management. We don't. We, we're, we're kept in the dark. In many respects the Labour Party is a voice for people in the worries and concerns that they have about present times because sometimes the people who are experiencing the problem, the people who are in touch with it, are the people who best know what the solution is. I think he absolutely thrives in that position as, 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 as leader. We keep him well grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Even the time you were in the students' union, the time when I was in mm. college myself that time, she would never boast about mm. that. Yeah. And it, deep down, as a mother, she had to be very proud of you. Only, only ten people have had the honour uh, to lead the party that was founded by, by Connolly and, and Larkin. And, you know, to stand in that uh, tradition and to stand uh, in the footsteps of the great people who, who led the party uh, before me is just, just uh, you know, it's just a huge, huge honour. We will get through these tough times. Labour's patriotism is about pulling together, not pulling back. It's about trust, community, neighbourhood, Best described in our own Irish language, on Mehel. Nín Yart Gokarlekela. Is Fajerlin, Dini Akararasha Gubber. Is Fajerlin, Genoana Avedu Agashervishi Alasu. Is Fajerlin, Anchir Akararasha Akhasa. Sha, is Fajerlina Freshen. Politics is driven by ideals. Human progress is driven by ideals. So uh, if somebody wants to say I'm idealistic, um, I'm quite happy to fess up to that. <laughs>